Okay, so for the second worksheet, which is Illustrator Skills Level 1, Level Up, what we're going to do is we are going to use the directions on this one to create this pencil right here on this worksheet. So you're going to follow these directions and you're going to create your pencil over here. So let's go ahead and you might, and you'll be doing a lot of zooming in and zooming out and moving your artboard around. So holding the space bar, We'll bring up the pan tool or the hand tool, and I can move around my artboard, okay, while dragging with my mouse. So the first one says use the following shapes. So I'm going to create two rectangles colored yellow for the pencil body. Use a slightly darker stroke for the outline. So two rectangles, okay. So let's go ahead and do that. Draw out two rectangles. There's one. And I'm going to make a copy of this. So I'm going to go to my my selection tool and hold the Alt key and click and drag down. And I want them to be right on top of each other. And I'm going to actually align them because mine are a little off. So I'm going to select both of them and use my alignment tools up here to align the horizontal centers. And then it says to change the color to yellow. Okay, so I'm going to click on both of them to select both of them. So I'm going to drag across and click on my color picker. Actually, let's go ahead and learn how to use the eyedropper tool. So I'm going to click on the eyedropper tool and I'm going to actually pull this color over here. Once I get the eyedropper tool, it looks like this. And if you watch my color picker, when I click on this yellow, it's going to grab that color right from that um that object okay and fill it in with that color and it looks like it actually grabbed the stroke color as well which is fantastic because my stroke is now a different color so let's go ahead and click off of there so i'm going to go to my selection tool and click off perfect all right so the next thing it says use three rounded rectangles for the class holding the eraser so take a look at that okay so three rounded rectangles it looks like I actually need one more um, rectangle for my pencil. So it looks like that those directions might be wrong. So it might be three rectangles. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a third. All right, there we go. Now I'm going to use three rounded rectangles. I'm going to drag them out, make them a little bit bigger than my pencil. Okay, so I'm going to hold click on my selection tool, hold the Alt key and drag up and just stack them right on top of each other. You don't want any gaps. And then I'm going to use my alignment tool again. So I'm going to select all three and align the vertical centers. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to zoom out so you can see the change happen. So those three are still selected, and I'm going to use my eyedropper tool to pick this color right here. Okay, so it switched my stroke and my, my fill. Click back on my selection tool. The next thing says a rounded square for the eraser. Fill it with pink. Use a slightly darker pink for the stroke. All right, so a rounded square. So click and hold that. To draw a rounded square, I'm going to hold the shift key to make a perfect square and just kind of draw out right on top of that eraser. I'm going to move it over. It's kind of sitting right on top. That might actually be too big. Make it a little bit smaller. and change the color. So I'm going to click on that, use my eyedropper tool and click on the eraser and click on my selection tool. Perfect. All right. The next one says to create two triangles with the pencil tool for the tip of the pencil. Um, one filled with a darker stroke, the other filled with black and a darker shade. So we're creating this one and this guy. All right, so 
So let's go ahead and go to my rectangle. I'm sorry, my triangle tool. So the triangle tool is actually the star tool. Okay, so we're only going to create a three pointed star. So I'm going to drag out and use the down arrow to make a three pointed star. And then I'm going to rotate it and I can resize this after I place it and just move it right up against that pencil and I'm going to rotate it. And then back it up. Make it a little skinnier. We'll take some adjusting. All right, so I know some of you don't want to be precise with this, um, but if you were to create a logo for someone and they were paying you for this, you need to be as precise as absolutely possible when creating your artwork. Okay, it's very important that um, you know you get as precise as possible. You don't want any gaps between this design. It's going to be a little tricky getting it perfect. But we'll get it done. All right, so it's still a little too big. So I'm going to go ahead and mess around with that. I'm going to pause it and get it perfect. All right, so there's the tip of my pencil. I'm going to zoom out and change that color. So I'm going to click on my eyedropper tool and click on this one. Pull that color. And then for the tip, what I'm going to do is actually um it says let's see what it says create two triangles with the pen tool okay so go ahead and create one more oops for uh for the the tip so i'm gonna hold actually let's copy this one so i'm gonna click on it hold alt and drag down and i'm gonna make it smaller so i'm gonna hold the shift key while i'm making it smaller and that's gonna Hold those proportions, and then I can kind of place it right here. And then I'm going to zoom out and grab the color of that one over here. Using my eyedropper tool, click on it, and then go to the selection tool. All right, so that other one over there, it's got kind of a slant. So you can either keep it nice and neat like this one, or you can modify the... Um, the shape by using the direct select tool and then just kind of oops pulling up on one of those anchor points if you want to if you want to leave it that's totally fine too okay so there is my pencil looks pretty good all right, so I'm going to go ahead and stop this video, and then I'll create a new one for the last challenge plus.